So hi, this is Brad, and welcome to another episode of Coffee for Closers. Uh, my guest today is Cameron Brett, uh, Managing Director of Randstad Professionals Japan. Cameron, thanks for joining us again. Thanks for having me, Brad. Yeah, this is uh, really just uh, kind of a follow-up uh, interview. Um, obviously, you said many industries have been impacted. So, you know, internally, uh, you know, how have you kind of restructured your teams to, to compensate for that? So I wouldn't say that it was a restructuring of teams, so to speak, but we reallocated resources based on the industries that we're hiring, as well as the knowledge base of consultants. So there's a little bit of a gray area that exists between certain uh, parts of the manufacturing industry and tech, Com for example, IoT or companies that are hiring a lot of software engineers in the automotive space. And so we were able to reallocate some of our manufacturing consultants into our tech team so that they could cover companies that were hiring, but also use the knowledge that they've gained and also the candidate relationships that they had. Also, we shifted some of our manufacturing consultants from covering automotive to covering uh, en uh, energy, which we feel uh, has a lot more hiring happening in the energy space than in automotive. Okay. And actually, that's, that's quite an interesting point, obviously, because, um, you know, the, the recruiting industry is, is so uh, specialized. I mean, do you, do you see that as, as kind of, um, I, I guess, kind of a, a trend? I, I see two points to answer that question. The first one is, I believe, tech is pervasive across all industry verticals, as well as the functional spaces, whether you're covering accounting and finance, supply chain, HR, life sciences, you, every headhunter working in 2020 needs to be literate of, about the digital space and they need to understand technology because at least in terms of being able to match you know, candidates to positions because it's becoming, as I said, more pervasive and more gray area that's existing between industries. So that's one point and that understanding technology and being more aware of what's happening in, in the world in terms of uh, new technology that's coming out allows people to be adaptable, allows consultants to move in between industries or functions more easily. And second is I personally believe that we're first and foremost recruitment specialists. We're focused in our industry, plus we have a specialization in an industry or function. And myself, I've recruited across life sciences, manufacturing, and I started my career doing accounting and finance. And so that's three very different areas. And I was always able to build up my client base and build up my candidate network within those areas. And I think it made me a better recruiter. So I think it's a good thing for recruiters to be flexible and to move across industry user functions. However, I do understand that some people are really passionate about a certain space and it's okay for them to stay there as well. No, definitely. I, and, and that's a valid point that, I mean, I, I think you know, wherever we are and we're in, uh, in our industry or in our, in our role in the company, you know, we, we do have to kind of pivot and, and, and shift accordingly. So that's, uh, that's good that you offer that platform. I, I guess my, my next lead in is, is really talking about uh, in terms of the client relationship. Can you expand a little more on, on what you guys have done with the client relationship? Sure. What has happened in the market, and it's similar to what happened at the, the global financial crisis, was there's been a shift in focus from the recruitment industry from a candidate-centric market to more of a client-centric market. Now, the change in the economic conditions is not going to change the demographics of Japan, and we do have it's just not enough people in this country, and that will continue to create challenges from a recruitment perspective. However, there's been a significant change in the dynamics of the market, which means that recruitment companies are now more focused on clients. And th that actually, I don't think it necessarily is a bad thing. I think it will make a lot of changes in our industry where we'll become more like other markets, whether it's the US, the UK, which are more advanced markets that take a more client-centric approach and have more sophisticated ways of engaging with clients. But what it means is that as a consultant working on a desk, you have less reasons to pick up the phone and call a client. So if a client has told you they're not hiring or they're, they're on a slowdown of hiring or they're not able to interview because of they don't have the capability to do video interviewing and that sort of thing, it becomes more challenging for a consultant to engage and maintain the relationship with the client. However, that doesn't mean we should stop talking to them. Hmm. Or it also doesn't mean we should keep calling them every week and asking them the same questions and just being an annoyance. 
And so what we've introduced is something that we call valid business reason, which is a, which we, you know, the VBR is the uh, acronym for it. And every consultant needs to have a VBR to pick up the phone to talk with a client. And the VBR that we're using is marketing content based on things like safely back to work. Or next week we're launching uh, some marketing content about maintaining your employer brand during a crisis. On a weekly basis, we'll be bringing new content that we'll be able to share with our clients, leveraging what we're doing globally, but then localizing it in, into the Japanese market and providing a lot of the content in both Japanese and English. And so this is how we feel we can continue to maintain relationships with clients that aren't hiring, and we continue to partner with them and add value so that we can still have that same level of relationship once the hiring restarts. Where do you see the trend is in terms of what we're doing as recruiters as our job, um, and, and where the relationship is going with the client. So I think there are good, there's going to be two main shifts in what's required of a consultant. And the first will be, as I mentioned before, I believe that clients will make more sophisticated purchasing decisions, which will require a different level of engagement from the consultant. And I believe that cons companies will start trending towards what we see in more advanced recruitment markets like the US, the UK, other markets in Europe, or even other markets in Asia like Singapore and Hong Kong, where clients are looking for regional and global partners. They're looking for companies that can offer multiple solutions, so not just a perm recruiter, not just a staffing recruiter, not just an outsourced IT recruiter, but a company that can provide more of a, a broader portfolio of solutions. They're going to be looking for a single point of contact, a key account manager who knows them strategically and can work with them, and it's more of a consolidated approach. And I believe that this will be a big shift for recruiters in Japan who aren't used to dealing with things like how do you get on a PSL, right? If you're not on a PSL in Singapore, Hong Kong, the US, you're not working with the client. But in Japan, clients have been so desperate for candidates that they've been working with whichever recruiters come to them who can bring them a candidate. But I think as the market shifts, you're going to see clients becoming more sophisticated and requiring more of their consultants. And frankly, I think this is a good thing. This is the evolution of our market. Japan is still far behind the rest of the world in many ways when it comes to recruitment. And I think part of that has been the difficulty of recruitment in Japan. And I don't necessarily think is Japan is going to become easier to recruit in, but I do think there'll be, at least in the short term, talent will be more available. So thanks again for, for joining us. Uh, again, this is Brad from Coffee for Closers. And uh, again, thanks Cameron for, for joining us. Um, yeah, stay tuned for more great content and we'll definitely be following up with, with Cameron and, and Randstad uh, Professionals Japan uh, in the future. So Cameron, thanks again. Thank you very much.